Hi guys, and welcome back to The Infected. I'm Shy, and as you can see, I've got our storage kind of all uh, organized here. That makes me feel so much better. I have so much more room now um, to organize stuff and get things going. Um, what I did off camera is, oh yes, up here. I went ahead and put in the walls for our second story floor. I have not yet started on the roof though. Um, the roof is going to take a lot of clay. Um, you also need planks and wood logs, but I'll, I'll get to probably some of that today, maybe. Uh, plans for today. Uh, I would like to run downstream and check out this little town here. Um, I would also like to make a fishing pole um, and tr maybe try our hand at some fishing because we have not yet checked that out. So I'm kind of super excited about that. But the first thing I want to do, uh, since it's early in the day, I did, I got a little piggy here. Um, oh, sorry. This is the other thing I did. I put up another extractor. This one here is extracting only stone um, because I'm going through stone so quickly. Um, now, if you set this to not extract stone, you can get things like iron fragments and actual iron ore, but it takes a five minute cycle. This rock cycle only takes one minute per rock. So that is good to have running in the background. But let's grab our stuff here. Put it back on our cart. And uh, head over towards the town. And as usual, um, I will run over there and then I will bring you guys back once I get over there or if for some reason I run into any danger, which I hope is not going to be the case. So give me just a second, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am here in front of this town. As you can see, we have a guy up here. Um, I was just thinking on my way over here, we have not seen Mike or the truck yet. Those are some things that we need to get, and I don't know where they are. Um, let's deal with these guys real quick. Oh, that's a deer. That scared the bejesus out of me. Come on, guy. He didn't even see me. Oh, speaking of the truck, it's right there. Okay, yeah, I aggroed these guys. So let's get them... Okay, then. All right, hopefully that's all of these guys. Let's, uh, oh my gosh, flipped myself around somehow. Get our cart up here where it's closer. We'll park it right here. Um, I'm going to need to actually look and see what I need to get uh, supplies for, for that truck. And luckily it's pretty close to our house. So I'm super excited about that. Alright. That's done. All right, let's see. That, that. Let's get in this garage. Don't need that. Make sure I grabbed everything out of there. Alright, it doesn't appear to be too much here. It looks like maybe 
two more little houses. So not much at all, to be honest. Which means we're probably not going to find a lot of tech here. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to take a screenshot there. Uh, mechanical parts, iron ingots, steel ingots, plastic. Okay, so at least we know where to get the truck at now. So that's uh, fantastic. All right, let's see what we can find here. Oh, there's tech, yes. Advanced workbench, please. Yes, finally. Oh my gosh, I am so, so happy. I can make bone arrows, hooray. Um, now we just need the loom. That would be amazing if we could get the loom. All right, looks like this house is done. So finding that was just, oh, really? Already? Hey, excuse me. Okay. These guys are popping up real quick. Like I said, unfortunately, there's not a lot here in this town. It's a lot smaller than what I was expecting. But I am not complaining. Not anymore. I have the advanced workbench. We can finally get some arrows made and a bow. All right, I think that's it for this. Okay, make sure I got everything there. Head upstairs. So only one piece of tech here, but we got some other good loot, so I can't complain. Uh, throw that out, take that. All right, that should do us. So we found the truck, we got the advanced workbench. We got to get this truck running. This is going to make our life so much easier. That's going to be... Um, you know what? I'm going to try to grab that gas since we got the truck. Um, it's going to make our life so much easier. We can drive to our POIs. All right, take that. I got a couple of cans at home as well. So this was definitely worth the trip. Um, we're going to cut down through here and back to the river. And then we can follow the river all the way back home. Um, let's see. I think we need to go this direction. Yeah. Okay, guys, I am going to run us back home. And then uh, when we get back, we will be probably, I would like to work on uh, getting that fishing pole and trying out the fishing. So uh, I will meet you guys back here in just a moment. Okay, guys, we are not home yet, but right directly in my path, we have a bear. Um, I don't think we could put the bear on our cart with the chest. But we're going to deal with them either way. Yeah. All right. He, uh... 
Oh boy. Oh, I forgot to nerf him. Oh. Alright, let's see if I can... Oh, I can put him in. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so I forgot to nerf the bears uh, in between videos. So I apologize for that. Um, I still need to work on that. Um, I'll have to make a, a mental note or something. But anyway, back on track. Back to uh, base. We'll see you there. All right, guys, we are back. I just finished putting our things away. I just spotted a melon. I'm going to run over here and grab it real quick because I could use some nutrients. Um, nothing major, but... Um, so what I want to do, it's kind of late in the day, so I don't know if we'll get to fishing until after we sleep. But... Uh, let's go ahead and eat that real quick. Okay. So that helped a little bit. Let's get out our print for... I just seen something go past the window. Uh, the advanced workbench. There we go. So we're going to need 10 planks, 2 iron ingots, 2 copper ingots, and 10 nails. That's not bad at all. Let's get this set up over here. Um... Do I have any iron ingots? I do. I think I only needed two. Okay. Two copper, ten nails. Do I have the nails? I do not have the nails. Um, I'll just go ahead and smelt two copper. We'll throw some rock in with it. That way we're not wasting fuel. Alright, let's get us an iron ingot. We'll make some nails. And planks, which is very doable. Alright, 10 planks. Oh, I forgot. I put the doors on um, because when I was doing some grinding off camera, uh, I actually had a bear come in through the base. So I said, uh, no thank you. And we put, the, we put doors on. Uh. Alright, so we're just waiting on this. And then once this gets done, actually, let's go see how our rock is doing. I did empty it as soon as I got back because it was pretty full. Oh, it's pretty full again. It's amazing. Probably do a couple more shots of this. Uh, come on. There we go. Our iron up here. And finally, we have our advanced workbench. I am so, so happy. Okay, so let's see. What does it take? Idempedia. So for the fishing rod, we are going to need... Three sticks, two plastic, and five iron fragments. That's... I think we can do that. Um, I'm going to need to make some room, though. That one's only got 20 left on it. Uh, we'll just throw that in there. And then we'll put this to number three. Okay. Five copper ink... Or iron ingots. Copper Iron fragments, good lord. Um, I think it was two plastic, which we got. We've been getting plenty of plastic. And then some 
sticks. We have our sticks over here. We're just going to grab a handful of those. All right, so Itempedia, where does this have to be made? On the player or on the workbench? Okay, so we can make that craft fishing rod. And now we're going to need bait. And I can't remember where I seen this at. There it is. Um, fish bait, one stick, one feather, five iron fragments. It's kind of expensive. I have feathers on me, I have sticks. So you just gotta get some iron fragments. That should hopefully be enough. All right, this should be enough to do a two a two shot. So, um, itempedia. Uh, where was this one? I think. Yes. On player or on the workbench? Okay, so we can craft. Repeat. Oh, okay. So it made five each. So I have ten fish bait now. Okay, perfect. So we'll put our sticks away. Um, like I said, it's kind of late in the evening. Yeah, it's going to be getting dark here soon. I don't want to be fishing in the dark. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to just keep going through, um, and smelting stone. And then I will bring you guys back first thing in the morning and we will try our hand at fishing. All right, guys, we are back. It's first thing in the morning. Um, I went ahead and did all my eating and drinking. Um, when I got up and saved, there's a chicken there. I am so excited. Um, oh, I'm going to pick up these plants real quick. Oh, that deer scared the living crap out of me. We still have a uh, bear on our table to harvest. <laughs> Uh, I harvested the pig so that I could put uh, the bear in his place. But let's go over here where we can kind of get out in the open and see what's going on. The deer is right there. He's probably going to get in our face while we're trying to fish. All right. So number four, our fishing pole. Um, so that was a left click. I don't know how this works. Oh, okay. So right click brought it back out. Oh, okay. Not doing so hot. Oh, dang it. What the heck? I think I'm doing this wrong. Okay. So you uh, right click to reel it in. All right, there we go. So we have one trout. Let's try to get, we only have six bait. We might as well use them, right? Our drying rack will hold five. I really, I like this new fishing mechanic. Okay, small boy there. Now, I do love that you can uh, put the entire fish on uh, the drying rack and then harvest it later for more than one piece. So that is definitely a perk worth having. Yeah, we're getting a lot of small boys here. That's okay. Let's uh, 
make sure we are leaving ourselves some room. Maybe it depends on what part of your fishing at. Okay, so that one was bigger. We got two left. Oh, and I dropped them. Okay, let's just... We may be, just harvest these last couple ones on site. All right, so we got three big ones and four small ones. We are going to harvest that guy. The small one, I believe, only gives us, yeah, one fish. But that's okay. We're going to get our big ones. Uh, number pad zero to uh, put your tools or weapons away. Harvest that. Oh, I see a pumpkin. I'm going to grab that as well because uh, I, uh, oh, I, I don't think I showed you guys. I built crates and to stockpile these. Um, oh, that deer scared the crap out of me again. So yeah, we have a crate for pumpkins and watermelons. All right, let's get our fish on the drying rack. And we can just hang them up to dry. And that will keep them fresh longer. And then I'm gonna harvest this guy. And we will just throw him in here with our other food that is going to spoil. Okay, guys, I am going to call the episode here. I really love the new fishing mechanic, and uh, I'm super excited at how easy that was. We're going to put our fishing roll pod, our fishing rod, oh my goodness, shy words, on uh, the rack there. But yeah, so next episode, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. I'm going to see if I can get the supplies to get the truck. Um, if not, I, I, I don't know. We'll have, I'll have to change up my plan here. Um, but I'm definitely going to be getting some arrows made off camera and a bow made. And then we will, uh, yeah, take it from there. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you have it. And check out my link for our Discord in the, dis the description. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.